This is the 2022 Mini JCW. And in this car, take a look at this range topping 2 liter, 228 horsepower engine. And this is what sets this car apart from the rest of the Mini line. Today here at Mini Richmond, we'll take a look at this car and see what it's like. And then we'll take it out for a drive to see what it's like to drive, as well as see what it's like to live with. If you haven't yet, please hit that subscribe button as it helps us out more than you can imagine. My name is Ethan, my brother Josh is holding the camera, and welcome to Car Creation. start discussing this car in detail such as the amazing rebel green color we're just going to brush briefly on my favorite feature and this happens to be this new jcw diffuser i just love the look of one of my favorite parts is how it actually does look like a diffuser how these fins tuck underneath the car it is fake unfortunately as they don't go all the way under the car some cars can be specced with a rear fog light right here that kind of looks like the rain sensor light in a formula one car but unfortunately this car doesn't have that i like how the rear of this looks a lot more aggressive next we come onto the front of the car which does have one of the most controversial features and that is the big grill i guess all new cars have that new bmws new audis lexus you name it it has a big grill so in person it does actually look a lot better and it's actually grown on me a lot and it makes the front of the car look a lot more aggressive and especially once you add a front license plate which sadly most countries you have to have um, once you add the front license plate you do get it does break up the look of it a little bit one of my favorite features in the front is all these ducks grills etc etc this side these are fake that side they're real not sure why but that's the way it's built one of the things that they are shipping from factory now are these blacked out chrome pieces everywhere and it looks amazing. Like, just come along with me. Here we have blacked out chrome around the front lights. As a while, these lights are also blacked out. Blacked out mirror caps, blacked out handles, blacked out gas cap, blacked out chrome around the tail lights, as well as the tail lights are smoked out a little bit. Blacked out mini logo, and then blacked out everything else. Anything you can imagine is being blacked out, except trim around here is not blacked out yet. You can buy this trim from factory, but it's expensive. This car comes with 17-inch uh, alloys. However, you can spec 18 inches, which those 18 inch alloys that they come with do look amazing. All right, let's take a quick look inside before we get on our drive. All right, we come now to the interior of the car and the interior has improved dramatically with each generation of the Mini. I remember the first Minis, it was nasty hard plastic and it creaked going down over any bump, but now it has all this luscious, beautiful, oh, it smells beautiful too. Beautiful materials, nice plush, leathers, awesome Alcantara seats. First of all, let's come to the steering wheel. Compared to the last ones, this nice, soft, plush leather that you can sit your hand on. An added bonus with this new steering wheel is it's now heated. These cars come standard with an 8.8 inch entertainment system, as well as the new digital dash. If you want to see our complete in-depth look at this entertainment system, click on the pop-up link right here. The interior is built in such a way that everything you need is right next to you and it's not crowded whatsoever. However, if you have to start taking extra stuff with you on the journey and put big water bottles and stuff, you have to feed your hand through to simply even turn on the car. So it does get squishy once you start adding stuff into here. In terms of charging, you have three options. You have USB type C, USB type A, as well as a normal cigarette light plug here. In this car, I have an awesome heads up display, which I truly miss my mini. However, this digital dash does do a good job of showing you where you need to go. All right, so the moment you all been waiting for, not the drive, can we fit an adult in the back? Well, let me show you. Okay, so first of all, let's grab here. Seat pulls forward. Step in. Get in. Put the seat back up. And once you're back there, there is a ton of room. The seats are comfortable. They have the Alcantara like the front seats do. I have this much room between my knees and the front of the seat given I'm not the tallest dude on earth. I don't know, for a normal sized human, I think these back seats are just fine. Let's go for a drive. We start our trip off in green mode. Why I would do that, I don't have any idea. So in green mode, it loosens suspension up and with these new dynamic dampers, 
it's actually quite comfortable. So my JCW currently, even in green mode, it's quite rough. Um, this car gets 25 to 32 to 33 depending on how you're driving. Um, this car actually might, that's just personal experience in my manual mini. This car actually might get better than that because it has a eight speed transmission. With this new gearbox, you'll be able to get better fuel economy. It is a little bit annoying because it limits your throttle response. And I prefer just to have it in mid. So we're just gonna turn up to mid. Mid is what you drive every day in. And it has throttle response for when you want it. But at the same time, it's not gonna use up all your gas and everything like that. Why would you get a JCW? Well, put in sport mode. So you pop into sport mode, and although, although this is not the manual car, you have paddle shifters, so drop a gear. Here are a few little crackles from behind you, and you are ready to go. the handling firms up, the steering wheel is nice and tense, and the handling is awesome, like, any, any back roads just, the car just sticks to the road. I, ca I can't even, I can't even describe how well it sticks, like, it obviously depends on the type of tires you have on, and, and with the quicker throttle response, you can gun out the corner without a gear. The corner. This transmission, it almost almost reminds me of Joshua's BMW. Quick shifts, and you're at the gear when you want to when you want to be at the gear. The 2022 Mini Cooper JCW won the funnest car of the year for its class. And that beat out the Model 3 Tesla, that beat out the Honda Civic Type R, and every other crazy vehicles. And I see exactly what they mean. It's a combination of handling, it's a combination of steering, it's a combination of excitement, exciting noises, all of that coming into one package just really completes the car. So driver assistance. Now this car has is updated to a lot of cool driving aids. We were just doing some B-roll shots with my brother. And as I drove up behind him, I would get a little indicator on the heads up display that would show a little car. And then if I got too close, it would go ding, 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 ding. And if I got even closer, it would start slamming on the brakes for me. So it has collision warnings. This car also has lane departure warnings. So you can turn that on and as you're driving and if you're starting to fall asleep as you're driving and you suddenly weave off to the side of the road and exit the white lines, it will vibrate and force you to wake up and veer back onto the road. I don't really like that feature because sometimes you do want to avoid stuff on the road and if it's trying to stop you from doing that, it's very frustrating. And just don't drive when you're sleepy. And finally, these cars have been updated with the best of BMW adaptive cruise control. So I'll follow a car in front of you and if that car slows down or speeds up, I'll follow them at a safe pace. All right, so that has been our video with the new 2022 JCW. If you are in the BC area and you want a mini JCW, check out Mini Richmond as they've been awesome and let us try out these cars. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comments below and we'd love to answer them as soon as possible. Um, also, if you want a more detailed in, uh, look at some of the actual features of this car, we did another video and you can check out the pop-up banner here. Most of all, we hope you have an amazing day. Please like and subscribe and we'll see you all in the next one. Okay.